Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to divide a three-digit number by a one-digit number. So let's jump into our two examples here, where although the problems are very similar in the way that they are three-digit numbers divided by a one-digit number, there are differences between these two problems. And you'll notice how they're different as we work through. So let's jump into number one, where we have 972 divided by five. So the first thing we need to do is set this problem up. And the first number here, 972, this is our dividend. So when we set up the problem, the dividend goes underneath the division bar. That's the, that's the number that we're splitting or dividing up. Now the five, the second number here, that's our divisor that goes outside. And now we're ready to go through the division process, which is at the top of your screen. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, repeat. And if you're just starting out with division, that seems like a lot, but with more practice and uh, the more you go through those steps, the easier and more fluid everything will be. So if you're overwhelmed at first, don't worry, with practice, you will get a lot better. So our first step is divide. So we need to take a look at the first number in our dividend, this nine here. So we need to do nine divided by five. So think of it as how many whole fives, whole groups of five can we pull out of nine? Well, one, because two groups, we would need 10, but we only have nine. So one whole group of five out of nine. Now we multiply. So one times five is five. Then subtract, nine minus five is four. Then we bring down, we bring down our next digit, that's seven, so we have 47. And now we repeat the process. So 47 divided by five. How many whole groups of five out of 47? So think of your five facts. Well, we know eight times five is 40. Well, let's try nine times five. Nine times five is 45. So we can pull nine whole groups of five out of 47. So we put our nine here. And then we come back around and multiply. Nine times five, 45. Subtract, we get two. Bring down. So now we repeat. So divide, 22 divided by five. So how many whole groups of five out of 22? Well, four, that gets us to 20. Come back around and multiply. Four times five is 20 subtract, we get two. Now, we do not have anything else to bring down. We went all the way over to the ones place. So that two down there, that's our remainder. So we have two left over, okay? The problem didn't work out to give us a perfect whole number there. We have something left over. So 194 remainder two is our final answer. So again, a lot of steps there, but with the more practice, the more you go through those steps, the easier and more fluid you will get. So on to number two, and this problem, we're going to use the same process, but it is a little different, and you'll see why here with the first step. So let's set it up, 336 divided by six. Now our first step is divide. So we take a look at our first number here, and we have three divided by six. So how many whole groups of six can we pull out of three? Well, we can't do that. We don't have enough to pull a whole group of six out of three. So we need to take a look at 33. We can look at the next number over and consider that 33 there. So 33 divided by six. So how many whole groups of six out of 33? Well, five, that gets us to 30. That's as close as we can get. So five whole groups of six. Notice where I'm putting the five. I'm putting the five above the 33, not above the three. It needs to be placed above the 33. That's a common mistake there. So now we go through um, the following steps. Multiply, so five times six is 30. Subtract, 33 minus 30 is three bring down and repeat. So 36 divided by six, how many whole groups of six out of 36? And you can think of your six facts, multiplication facts if that helps, 
and we get six whole groups. That hits 36 exactly. So multiply, six times six is 36. We subtract, and we end up with zero. So we do not have a remainder for number two. It worked out to be a whole number, and our answer is 56. So some of the differences here between number one and number two. Number one, we had a remainder, and we were able to take a look at our first number in the dividend and divide. In number two, we had to take a look at 33 and hop over a place because the first digit there was, we were not able to divide it by our divisor. So a couple of differences there, but overall, we use the same process here. So getting this process down is very important. So I hope that helped as far as three digit numbers divided by one digit numbers. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.